ラララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララ And welcome to Brow Talk. <laughs> Meet Mandy and Chester. Two new brawlers for the Candyland season. Mandy, the Brawl Pass brawler, is the CEO of the Star Parks Candyland. She seems sweet, but that's only a front for the customers. When she's alone, she's always cranky, either because Chester is annoying her or because customers keep acting like customers. Mandy is a sharpshooter with the longest range in the game, but that's only if she stands still and charges her range bar. If she moves, her attack goes back to the normal sharpshooter range. And speaking of long range, Mandy Super shoots a beam of sugar that can literally reach the end of the map. It does take a while to charge, so the opponent still has some time to run. But if they don't, they will be destroyed. She's the brawler for this brawl pass, and she gets even more furious with her Magma Mandy skin. Instead of shooting sugar beans, she fires lava. For this update, she will get another skin called MC Mandy. It will cost 29 gems. Mandy, the Candyland Brawl Pass, and all her skins are coming this January. Now, hold on for a while, because this moment is gonna be legend. Wait for it. Derry. That's it. Chester is a legendary brawler. Mandy has a love and hate, well, mostly hate, relationship with Chester. But there is a good reason for that. Chester is a chaotic prankster who is extremely annoying. He's the guy who won't stop playing pranks on everyone. He finds it funny, but only because that's how he shows affection. His main attack is a sequence of projectiles that always follow the same logic. So the first attack shoots one projectile, the second shoots three projectiles, and the third shoots five. They keep following this pattern. It doesn't matter how much ammo you have left. So you can use it to your advantage if you keep track of your attacks. Chester is also the first brawler with a randomized super. True story. He has in total five different supers, and you won't know which one you are going to get until you charge it up and look at the super icon. Sounds insane? But it's quite easy to memorize. His supers are throwing a bomb, slowing enemies in a certain area, poisoning enemies in a cone, killing himself, and a direct stunning attack. So you will know which super you have up your sleeve, but your opponent will have to guess. Chester also comes with a 29 gem skin called Dark Chester. He may look a little less cheerful, but he's equally random. And if you have at least one legendary already, you will be able to start unlocking him as soon as he drops in the new Star Road. We'll explain it better later in this video, so stick around until the end. With the Candyland season, we will also get Gummy Bear Nita as the Brawl Pass first tier skin, which might be my favorite because every time you use your super, you summon Gummy Bruce in a different color. Piñata Ash is going to be the Power League skin. He's colorful, he's angry, and he has a chocolate shield. Buzz becomes a sweet dinosaur lady called Buzette. She now uses a yo-yo macaron to pull herself to her target. Then there is Cupcake Derry. He rolls on the ground just like when you drop a cupcake on the floor. And remember, Chester debuts in December on update day. By the way, in one week we'll celebrate Brawl Stars 4th anniversary. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to everyone. everyone! You know what that means, right? It's free stuff time. From the 12th of December until the 26th, you'll get a free item every day, including power points, coins, gems, and a free skin, Classic Shelly. Players who have played the Brawl Stars beta might recognize her, but she's not as square as she used to be. Also, this year we are giving away new items called Chroma Credits and Credits. We'll explain it later. And you know, Brawliversary also means Brawly Days, so a lot of our old Brawly Days skins are coming back. Keep an eye on the shop so you don't miss out. Was this gift here before? I wouldn't worry about it. It says from Ryan to my favorite community manager. Ah, such a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> this gift is cursed! Opening it has unleashed the Dark Brawlidays! 
Now all the new Brawlday skins are corrupted. That wasn't the climax tip. Yeah, maybe we should stop inviting that guy. Anyway, this year we are going a bit darker with the Broly Days skins, so we present you the Dark Broly Days. So we have Yeti Sam. He transforms into that famous snowy monster. He also gets a little hairier. Krampus Ash becomes an evil Broly Days gift, and his attack changes based on how angry he is. And lastly, the powerful Frost Queen Ember, which somehow burns oil with ice, but it looks pretty and magical. Now we can properly present Grey. Along with Lola, Grey is the second brawler of the Brawlywood trio. Lola is a soap opera star and super dramatic, but Grey makes silent, artsy underground movies. When they do perform together, Lola always wants a spotlight for herself. For his main attack, he shoots lines from his fingers with his mind powers. And he's the first brawler with portals. Grey can create two portals and teleport brawlers across the map. The first portal always spawns wherever Grey is and the second one he throws within his super range. Both Grey and his allies can use the portal, so be careful not to send your teammates to a bad spot. And guess what? You can get Grey for free by completing a quest. It's super easy. The quest will already be available when the update lands, and it will run for about one month. So make sure to complete it before it's too late. If you don't complete it within the given time, you'll be able to collect him from the star road or buy him from the shop. Also available on update day, Grey is in costume as a fugitive, with a runaway Grey skin for 29 gems. Before we explain what's happening to boxes, we have some more skins to announce. The arcade team returns next year with a new skin for Eve. She shall become a space biker. It's Baiku Eve. Griff is finally getting another skin with high score Griff. His head becomes a video game. To celebrate the world champions, we are getting the world champion Gus. We will sport the colors and logo of this year's world champion, which we don't know yet because we are recording before the finals. So congratulations to Zelda Division Zero. And lastly, for Brawlentine's Day, Sam the Teddy, another 29 gem skin. Okay, it is time. For this massive announcement, we are joined by our friendly neighborhood, Frank. But Frank, we will only allow you to say your thing if you get into the spirit of the update. Come on, Donnie. Don't make me do this again. To get this out of the way, with the coming update we will remove boxes. Yes, all boxes from the game. No more probabilities, no more random rewards, and no more playing the guessing game when you unlock brawlers. On update day, all previously unlocked but unclaimed rewards will be claimed automatically. This is true for previous and current Brawl Pass seasons, the Trophy Road, and even some of those unclaimed boxes from the time before Brawl Pass, if you still have some of those for whatever reason. So if you want to unlock them yourself, you've got to do it before the update drops. Moving forward, the rewards both on Brawl Pass and Trophy Road will be replaced with different deterministic rewards, some of which are new to the game. You will always know exactly what you're going to get. We're making this change for a few reasons, mainly moving away from probabilities and chances, which will make things more fair and predictable for you. It also gives you clear and exciting goals every time you play the game. Instead of unlocking brawlers from boxes, we've introduced a new reward track called the Star Road. You progress on the Star Road by collecting a new currency called credits. You can earn credits from Brawl Pass, the Trophy Road, and occasionally from challenges and quests. They can also be purchased from special offers in the shop. Different brawler rarities require a different amount of credits to unlock. For each step on the Star Road, there is a predefined rarity to unlock the next brawler. As a new player, you will unlock specific brawlers first, 
but once you've gathered experience with a new system, you'll be able to choose between two and three different brawlers. If the brawler you want isn't one of the options, just keep progressing on the track until the brawler becomes available. Also, you will now be able to purchase any brawler at any given point from the brawler screen. And if you've already started to unlock a brawler and you would like to accelerate that progress, you will be able to purchase the remaining credits for a lower price and unlock the brawler right away. The start road is the same for all of you, but of course, it will change depending on which brawlers you decide to collect or whatever brawlers you already have unlocked. You will always work towards unlocking a brawler. Once you unlocked one, the game will ask you to pick the next one, and so on. If for some reason you are changing your mind about the brawler you would like to unlock, you can just switch to one of the other options available and transfer your progress towards them. When we release new brawlers to the game, you will be able to switch to unlock this one for a limited amount of time. Otherwise, it will go to the end of the Star Road. This is pretty straightforward. Pick the brawler you want to unlock, collect credits from the Trophy Road, the Brawl Pass, challenges and quests, or purchase them from the shop. And once you've collected enough credits to unlock, it's time to start again for the next favorite brawler. One more thing about the Star Road. To reduce the complexity for brawler collection, we've decided to reassign new rarities to old Trophy Road brawlers and also move them over to the Star Road. This should make things a bit easier to understand, especially for our new players. You might have seen that chromatic brawlers are not part of the Star Road. The primary place to unlock chromatic brawlers is still the Brawl Pass. However, they are also available in their own chromatic shop where you can purchase them using a new currency called Chroma Credits, or you can use gems. Chroma credits are mainly available from the Brawl Pass free track, but they can occasionally be found in shop offers, quests or challenges. Once you've collected the required Chroma credits for a specific brawler, you can unlock the brawler you want. The cost of chromatic brawlers is still based on their release date, just like in the previous system where their drop chances increase from season to season. Depending on the release date of the chromatic brawler, there will be a secondary requirement for owning a specific amount of chromatic brawlers before you become eligible to purchase them for chroma credits. However, you can always purchase them directly with gems. If you're maxed out and have all brawlers unlocked, all credits claimed will be added to a new feature called Fame. The Fame rank is a purely cosmetic way of flexing your brawl account, which for the time being is visible on your player profile and home screen. With the first update next year, we will release more ways to show off your Fame rank in-game. You can also opt in to purchase Fame progress with Chroma Credits, in case you don't have any more Chromatic progress to unlock and you don't want to save them for later. Everything we're talking about now will happen on update day, which means boxes on the current Brawl Pass and everywhere else will also change to deterministic rewards. And because of that, here's what we're going to do. We understand that this is one of the biggest changes and disruptions the game has seen since the introduction of Brawl Pass, or maybe ever. And it all happens in the middle of the season. So how does it all work? Everyone who purchased the premium Ghost Station Brawl Pass before or after the update will be able to claim 80 gems for free in the shop once the update arrives. For people who purchase the premium Brawl Pass before the update, we will also compensate the amount of missed credits from the premium track for tiers you've reached until then. This means you will receive both the current rewards when we automatically claim your previously unlocked items, including Brawl Boxes, and the Brawler Unlock credits you would have normally received from the premium track. This is a lot to take in, but hang in there for these last things. We'll also introduce new gears. For our fourth anniversary, you will get a profile picture based on how many anniversaries you've been through. We're also adding seven new dual maps in preparation for making duels permanent, sometime soon. Also, stay tuned for the hashtag Krampus Ash to join this season skin giveaway. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this update below. The update arrives on December 12th. See you in February. Do you mean this one? What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> <gasps> My hand! Don't worry, it's delicious. <laughs> really? Should I say? <laughs>